Hello, it's your boy Davidoff and welcome back to Movie Monday. This week is about The Irishman on Netflix. And you're probably thinking, if you've been watching the series over the year, you're probably thinking, it's one movie today, it was one last week, and it was one a week before that. No, actually, no, a few weeks before that, actually. Before the Star Wars marathon, there was an episode of just one movie as well. And you're probably wondering, wait a second, Davidoff. Most of these episodes this year, you've watched like four or five movies. Actually, it was around three to five movies per episode. In some episodes you did like eight or nine, like in the Godzilla Marathon, I'm pretty sure. I did quite a lot of them. And you're probably wondering, wait a second, how come it slowed down a lot recently? Well, there's a reason, it's a time issue. Now, I don't watch one movie a week. I watch at the cinema as well, new movies, and I review them on this channel. I've, I've reviewed quite a few recently. And you see Jumanji as well this week, that's for sure. But it slowed down, not because of that, because of, but because of other things. I've got some things to sort out, plus my main channel as well to run. So there's a bit less time now. But don't you worry, okay? 2020, we'll have more time. I'll make more time in 2020, and we'll get to see Harry Potter for the first time, uh, Lord of the Rings rewatch, um, Back to the Future for the first time as well. There's a few, there's a few teasers there, a few teasers. Um, watching Bad Boys again, the first two, before the third one comes out, I'm, I'll be doing that. Old King Kong movies, you know, we'll be doing modern movies again in future. I promise, okay? Just for now, we're doing one per episode this week, and next week will be DC Animated Movie, just one movie. And then the week after that, I think it's just before Christmas, like two days before Christmas Day. So on that episode, I'll watch Christmas movies, multiple movies, and talk about them. And then the last episode of the year, which is like the 29th, I think, or the 30th of Jan, no, 30th of December, right? That episode will be my entire movie collection. That thing behind me, all the DVDs, all the Blu-rays, the 4K ones, and digital as well. I'll show you every single movie, box sets included. But in 2020, we will get back to watching a lot of movies per episode, just so you know. A lot as in like three or four, but still, multiple. Anyway, back to the Irishman, the main source, the main source, the main, the main subject, the subject of this video. This movie is good. Um, I really liked it. It's kind of crazy though that it's on Netflix, when you think about it. It's Scorsese, who's a great director, he's directing a mob movie with a great cast for a mob movie. So many big names, such a big cast, such a good cast, and it was good. It was really good. And in a way, it kind of like teaches you a lesson about life in a way, about how time passes by. Because it is about a guy telling a story about how you're caught up in some things. Um, I don't want to elaborate too much because of spoilers, just in case you haven't seen it. But it's a good movie with a good story and the cast is great and i do wonder sometimes how long did it take how long how much no not how long how much did it cost netflix to put this on that's what i want to know because if you look at who's in it and who's directing and the type of movie it is like we're talking about if you look at the cast for them to all be in the same movie together is insanity to get all those names into one place and film this movie it must have taken a lot cost and effort wise i mean geez and it's feeling of how long as well the movie as well which is kind of crazy like i know i watched john flixter's um, review of this and he he basically described it as the avengers of mob movies and that makes sense if you look at the cast like all this big cast is just brought together into one big movie and I think they pulled it off really well um, because they did a good job and um, I approve I approve but no movie is perfect there's one scene where the CGI looked weird okay you don't even this movie doesn't need CGI but I'm pretty sure there's one scene where there's, where there's effects all right you've probably seen it it's on Twitter it's on Twitter as well uh, but it was kind of funny because they CGI the grass, the grass, the grass. They CGI the glass breaking from a door, and it looked so obviously fake. It was it was actually quite funny. That doesn't downplay the movie, by the way. The movie is still good. The scene's still, you know, it's, it's still passable, but it is noticeable. Um, 
I didn't feel the need of it though, to be fair, for that scene. Because this isn't like a superhero movie, obviously. It's not a Godzilla movie. You don't need... You don't need any effects, realistically. Like, for this type of movie, it's very grounded. Um, you can you can do it all practically. Um, so yeah, that, that scene was a bit... A little bit off at times. But yeah, aside from that one little scene, the main issue is it's too long. It is too long. Three and a half hours. Now... I don't mind long movies, three hours, I, I, don't, I don't mind. But it needs to be paced right. The pacing of this movie was not, was not great. Even though I enjoyed the movie, I liked it. I felt the pacing did let it, let it down a little bit because like, when a movie's so long, you gotta pace it right so it doesn't feel that long. This one felt like it dragged. It felt a lot longer than it than it did. Um, it felt longer than three and a half hours, which is kind of crazy, but it, it felt really long. If It was already really long, but it felt even longer than really long. Um, so yeah, the pacing I have an issue with, to be honest, because it was too long. I felt they could have they could have cut some scenes out. Some scenes they could have like cut out completely and still made a great movie. Um, not saying they don't hold value. Of course, the, every scene does, but... I still feel they could have cut some some stuff out, even like 10 minutes. It might have made the movie a bit better, it might have improved it. Um, but aside from that though, there's no like major fault. It's just the length and the pacing a little bit. Aside from that, the story's fine and it makes you think about stuff, makes you reflect. Reflect, is that the right word? I don't know, I don't know, but it does tell you some things about life, is what I'm saying. It's not just a mob movie, you know? There's a message in this movie that that is said and yeah, you know, it's it's, it's a good message. It's, it's a nice message. So uh, I like the ending as well. Ending was a bit um, And the ending matched the movie if that makes sense like the way the movie went um, The tone of it the ending I felt was actually pretty nice to be fair It didn't need to be epic. It just needed to be what the movie was if that makes sense. Would I watch it again? Um, maybe, maybe I, I might watch it one more time. Not in any, not anytime soon. Maybe like in future, I'll watch it one more time. But this isn't something I'd watch multiple times. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that movies that I rewatch are movies that are like action packed and fun. You know, like a 007 movie or a Marvel movie or a Godzilla movie or Rush Hour <laughs> or Planet of the Apes. You know. I, when I want to re-watch stuff, I want to watch like, you know, um, stuff that's action-packed. This, this type of movie is still great, but it's not a rewatchable type of movie for me. For me, it's just, it's good to watch. You watch it, you know it's great, but you don't need to re-watch it. So yeah, as a movie, it's a 8.5 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, just great work all around. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.